compute the probability of symbol error and probability bit error in this 2x4 rectangular QAM constellation. This is from the Rice book, figure 5.3.4, and we've already shown how you can compute an exact expression for square QAM, but now we're going to show how we can compute this exact expression for this 2x4 QAM. It's another example. Now, what we did in the square QAM was we showed that the v1 dimension and the v0 dimension are two perpendicular and independent uh, problems that we're trying to solve. And here, each bit is going to be encoded with log base 2 of 8 uh, bits per symbol, so 3 bits per symbol. And one of the bits is going to change when we go up and down in the v1 dimension. And two of the bits are going to change when we go left and right in the v0 direction dimension. Um, in each of these, we can consider the, the V0 dimension as m equals 4 PAM, pulse amplitude modulation. And in the opposite or perpendicular dimension, we have V1. That is an m equals 2 or binary PAM system. We can compute the probability of bit error in each dimension, and um, those are exact expressions. So the probability of uh, bit error, I should say these, when we compute the probability of bit error, we're making an approximation um, due to the fact that we're assuming gray coding, um, that the probability of bit error is 1 over log base 2 of m multiplied by the probability of symbol error. And here the probability of symbol error is 2 times m minus 1 divided by m multiplied by the cube function of the square root of 2a squared divided by n naught. For the m equals 4 case, this leads to a probability bit error of approximately 1 half log base 2 of 4 times uh, 2 times 4 minus 1, so 6 over 4 times this cube function. And for m equals 2, we get uh, log base 2 of 2 is 1, we have a 2 times 1 over 2, so we just get a 1 times the cube function of square root of 2a squared divided by n naught. Okay, and what we talked about was, well, what we talked about with square quam was that the average of these two was uh, going to be the probability of bit error in 2 by 4 QAM. Now here we have to weight these differently because if we have we have two bits in the phi zero dimension, so um, there's two chances for us to make that error in the phi zero dimension. So our probability of bit error then for I should say by 2 by 4 QAM is going to be approximately two-thirds of this number, which is, well, let's just simplify this, three-fourths times the Q function. Plus one-third times this Q function. So it represents the one bit that I have in the phi one dimension. In other words, we've got one half plus one third. We've got five six of the Q function, two a squared divided by n naught. Okay, we need the energy per bit, and 
let's first look at the energy for these four symbols, which all should be the same. That's going to be the energy as a squared plus a squared. So it's 2a squared. And I'm taking the average, so I 1 eighth um, times this plus um, we got to look at these other symbols that have a different energy. There are 3a on the v0 dimension, 1a on the v1 dimension away from the origin, so that's 3 squared plus 1 squared, that's 10, 10 times a squared, and there's 4 of them as well, so I'll multiply by 4 to capture the fact that I have 4 symbols, and then I'm also going to need to divide by log base 2 of m which is 3, because I'm talking about the energy per bit, not the average energy per symbol. So overall here, I get uh, 8 plus 40, 48, divided by 8, that's 6. And then uh, divide by 3, so I've got 2a squared. And that means that the energy per bit is well, one half the energy per bit is equal to a squared. Using this result in here, I can write the probability of bit error as the same constant out front, but inside the q function, instead of the a squared, I'm going to plug in, well, the fact that energy per bit is equal to 2a squared, and that's what I get. Okay, the next thing to do is to look at the union bound. And here, let's look at the, the constellation and figure out what these distances are. Um, first of all, what are the neighbors? So let's take these, uh, these nodes and think about if I draw lines between devices, which nodes will actually be the neighbors? Well, when I look at the perpendicular bisectors, here I'm drawing the thick red lines, these perpendicular bisectors. Really, the node on the corner has two neighbors because the perpendicular bisector between this node and this node doesn't change the decision region for this node in the corner. Thus, I have corner nodes that have two neighbors. I have nodes in the center in the green box here that have one, two, three neighbors, and that's the only, those are the only two kinds of symbols that I have. And these distances between the neighbors is always going to be 2a. So when I incorporate that into my union bound, what I'm going to see is that I'm going to have, again, the less than or equal to, I'm going to have 1 over 8, and let's talk about what, how many of these neighbors I have. The four on the corners each have two neighbors, and there's four of them. So I've got four times two. And then the nodes in the green boxes, they have three neighbors, and there's four of them. So I'm going to add in four times three. And then I'm going to multiply it by this q function which is the distance squared, which I said the distance is 2a, so I'm going to have quantity 2a squared divided by 2 and not. Okay, and so simplifying here, I've got 12 plus 8, so 20, 20 divided by 8, which is uh, 2.5 um, times this q function. I'm sorry, I didn't close my bracket here. Q function of uh, 4a squared divided by 2n naught. So I've got uh, 2a squared divided by n naught. Okay. Now I'm going to plug in the same expression for a squared or 2a squared being the average energy per bit. And I'm going to have um, 5 halves q of uh, eb over n naught. Now the probability of bit error, 
assuming gray coding, is going to be 1 over log base 2 of m, approximately, of this probability of symbol error. So that's going to be the 5 halves q function of the e b over n naught ratio, or in other words, 5 6 of the same q function. Okay, so we get the same result with the exact expression as with the union bound. The third case is the nearest neighbor approximation. The nearest neighbor here is the distance of 2a. Um, so d min is 2a. There was no other distance between uh, neighboring symbols. And so I'm going to end up with the same kind of argument as before. I'm going to have the number of neighbors that I need to calculate. There are four nodes that have two neighbors and four nodes that have three neighbors. So I'm going to have 4 times 2 plus 4 times 3, and this gives me 20 nearest neighbors. So I'm going to immediately go to the probability of bit error in the nearest neighbor approximation. I shouldn't have that equal sign. I should have a approximately equal to 1 over log base 2 of m times the nearest neighbor approximation says that I have uh, n min over m, and I have the q function of square root of uh, dij squared, so 4a squared divided by 2 n naught. And so approximately, what have I got here? I've got 3, I've got um, 20 over 8, I've got, so I've got 5 over 6 q function of uh, 2a squared over n naught. The 2a squared is the same as eb in this case again. So I get the same expression out of the nearest neighbor approximation.